show we normally tour homes with interior designers, but today we have something a little special in store for you. We moved from New Jersey to South Florida two years ago, and we found a lot in a golf community that we loved, and we started building from scratch. Dana is a super busy mother of three who also runs her own business. While she's not an interior designer by trade, she somehow managed to create her absolute dream home. Get ready to view the beautiful sanctuary she created on today's SoFlo Home Project. Welcome to SoFlo Home Project. I'm Elena Capra. They say that you should build a custom home at least once in your lifetime. But if you've done it before, you know that is not an easy task, especially when you take the project on your own. But Dana knew exactly what she wanted. She pulled out all the stops and created a beautiful home to fit her lifestyle. Welcome to my home. I'm not a designer. I'm just a fit mom who knows what she likes and I'm not afraid to go after it. Dana, welcome to SoFlo Home Project. And welcome to my Great home. Great to see you. Great to see you. Your house is absolutely beautiful. Thank you. What is so special about today is that you're actually our first homeowner that's going to be allowing us to tour through their beautiful home. And so we're excited to get a lot of tips on how you kind of went about the process designing this yourself. The great part about this home was that we actually got to customize it. I have three children, so it made it very easy to say this is the flow of my life and I can move walls and I move doors and I did things to make my life flow a little easier. Well you did a beautiful job from Thank what we're seeing you. right now. Just a little taste of that. So Dana, you also have your own nutrition supplement brand. I right? do, I do. I own a, a brand called Devotion Nutrition and it really started in the kitchen. Well that sounds like you have an amazing kitchen because you probably do a lot of testing of the products. That's where all here. the magic happens. Well, let's go check that kitchen out right now. Sounds great. The kitchen is my lab. It's a workspace. I'm constantly in the kitchen and that makes that space so important for me. Wow, Dana, this kitchen is amazing. It's huge. Yeah, I'm not in Jersey anymore. No, it's so light and bright and it definitely feels it has that South Florida vibe for That's sure. what I was going for. I love that you didn't go traditional like all white white. You have a lot of soft like the cabinetry color is a beautiful like a white wash. Yeah, nothing is stark white. It appears that way because it is very light but I had to be practical and, um, <laughs> and, and, and I wanted it to still have a warmth. Everything in my kitchen not only had to be beautiful but functional so. Because you use it a lot for when you do product demos. Yes, and some I of your... cook all day. So when I cook and when I function in my kitchen, everything is in reach and it's laid out very strategically. So if I'm cooking and I need a spice, I'm pulling it out Perfect. right here. If I'm baking with devotion, I'm pulling out my flex flavors right here. If I need a pot or pan, I've got everything organized right under my stove and it's just easy, easy to reach. grab and go. So this is like a massive great island and there's a lot of stools at the end. This was huge. We actually added 30 inches to this island. This is where we spend all of our time in the kitchen. I purposely made seats at the end for my children to sit at. So I usually keep my laptop on the counter and we then created this still this family environment where we can all still talk about our day and eat together and I can still be cooking and doing dishes and and functioning with my kids involved. They say the kitchen is the heart of the home and this really is. It's your hub. This it's, is. This is our work. heart. We're here it's, all the time. I think this is an amazing layout and it definitely suits your lifestyle. It does. Thank you. Coming up on SoFlo Home Project, by mixing pre-owned and newfound pieces, Dana created a great room with a unique style. Elena's hanging out with me today. Yes, I am. And we're going to take a look at the best options when changing out your windows on today's SoFlo Home Project. Welcome back to SoFlo Home Project. We're here today doing a home tour with Dana Lynn Kay, the owner of Devotion Nutrition and also the homeowner that created this beautiful space that we're touring today. Thank you. 
The eating area extends from the kitchen counter to the breakfast nook. This space has a lot of personality. It's perfect for family meals and sampling some healthy creations. So this area is sort of an extension of your kitchen, sort of a, a breakfast nook or table? Yeah, this is technically my kitchen table. It's a great table and it's from Indonesia. It's beautiful. It is hand carved and it was actually falling apart. I fixed it up and now it is sturdy and if it can get through meals with three kids and Blessed it's safe the here, time. absolutely. <laughs> it's such a unique and beautiful piece and the woods kind of pop and really stand out amongst the light white bright space. It's totally different. In fact, the chairs, I changed the chairs. I strategically chose these because I have three children and they can be wiped Simple. clean. So they're, they look <laughs> fabulous, but again, they function and that's what I needed. Tell us the story of this. This light fixture is incredible. This light fixture is fabulous. Um, my mother actually did this light fixture. By the way, my mother has been my main helper and designer. She's like, your design assistant? I mean, you know as a designer, <laughs> yes. when you're trying to choose this, she knew my vision and she's helped me execute a lot of these ideas and then certain things that she did in her home. It's such a fabulous piece and what's Absolutely. really cool is no two are alike. You make this yourself. You get sent the pieces and there are little rods. So you can create the shape. You're creating the shape. It took us hours. We had to stand up on this table and your arms are tired and they're falling asleep by the end. So you then clip on the white papers and they have love notes from around the world and it's really special. This is such a great space, perfect for a family. And speaking of family, we are gonna check out how Tack Granada from Florida Home Improvement Associates is helping a family today. And I met up with Tat to check out his project. Ted, how do we know when it's time to change out the windows? Well, for this family, there was a lot of reasons why they wanted to change out the windows. These are the original windows that were put into the home, and if you can feel, there's not much protection here. Oh, yeah. They have accordion shutters right now, but what they expressed to me was during the last storm, what they were afraid of is some of the shutters weren't installed perfectly, and they felt a lot of air getting trapped between the shutter and the window, and it was pushing on the glass. So they were really concerned that, you know, at any point, could this now blow into the home? So. They also addressed that in their neighborhood there had been a few break-ins and that they wanted to make sure that, yes, this is this will help them from the storms, but it doesn't help them from an intruder. Absolutely. So they wanted to give that year-round, day-in and day-out protection from anybody potentially coming into the home. So how do we know how to pick the right windows? There's so many different options. Then that's a great question. And for, for us, the most important part of this entire process is the in-home consultation. We really like the opportunity to meet with the family, identify exactly what their goals are and what they're trying to address, and help them marry what they're trying to do with the right product from the right manufacturer so we can accomplish everything they're looking for. And then you mentioned insulation. That's half the battle of getting the right windows in, right? That's a really important part. And that's something that's hard to demonstrate while we're in the home with the consultation. And it's something that homeowners have to be cognizant of because we can order the best window in the world. And if it's not installed properly with somebody that really cares about doing a good job and ensures that the family's safe, uh, you're not going to be as protected as you could have been. So what are we putting in here today? This family chose a great product. We went with a product from Custom Window Systems that's going to give them the hurricane protection they're looking for, the energy, and it's going to give them a warranty so that if anything were to happen at any point, the manufacturer will send us a brand new one and there'll be no additional charge to the family. Ted, I had no idea there were so many window choices, but thank you for educating me and our viewers on choosing the right one. Yeah, there really are a lot of choices and that's the big part of the process is identifying exactly what you want and making sure when you're making that type of investment that you're getting what you want and the expectations are met. So now we're back in the formal living room, Dana. Well, yes. The formal living room completes this grand entertaining space. This is a modern yet cozy area with some great views. I went with white furniture, which <laughs> everybody in a thought, formal living room <laughs> thought I was such a risk taker to do white furniture with three young kids, but I went for it. I feel like your home should be what you want. It's not so intimidating that you wouldn't sit in it, um, like some traditional living rooms, but I also wanted it to be seen and known that that is a special place. In this room, I think it's also nice that you have a lot of textures. I would layer materials and textures and just to keep it warm, but then still that clean South Florida feel that I wanted. Yeah, really, I love the accents of the fur and the leather and the linen. It's yes. such a great mix. When you were coming up with inspiration for the house, a lot of people like to use Pinterest or, or screenshot things on Instagram or design magazines. What was like a way that you found inspiration? I kind of base it on the feeling that I get when you walk into like a beautiful yes. spa or hotel 
in South Beach and very light. If you don't pick a direction and then stay clear in that direction, it can be overwhelming because there are many other looks that I love. A lot of times I present things to my mom and I'd be like, I love this chair. And she's like, that's great, but it doesn't go to your with your house. You know, it's, kept you on track. You have to stay on track or your house ends up becoming this cluttered mess of like things that you like, but they aren't staying with the theme of the feel of your home. And so certain things you may love, but they just won't work. We both collaboratively did a great job. Thank so the you. tough love was worth it. Oh, so <laughs> worth it. Thank you, mom. Coming up next, we head upstairs to create a beautiful princess room times two. If your home has suffered fire, water, mold, or storm damage, dealing with insurance companies can be complicated and sometimes frustrating. That's where Ace Restoration Services can help. They're public adjusters that make dealing with insurance companies a whole lot easier. We're here today with Juan from Ace Restoration Services. Juan, welcome to SoFlo Home Project. Hello, thank you for having us. So, what is going on here? I'm maybe assuming it's a leak, but I can't really tell. I just yes. know the drywall's missing. <laughs> What's happening? Yes, yeah, so this uh, homeowner was suffering from a water intrusion from a roof leak. So the first signs of him noticing was a roof stain. And then of course, following that, then he had trickling water from the ceiling. And then he uh, called his uh, uh, manufacturer, they couldn't help him out. So then they called us to do a moisture test. So we showed up on site and we did our routine uh, moisture map. At the time, we realized that not only did he have a roof leak, but he also had uh, mold in the ceiling and in the wall. So we helped him out with the mold remediation and also through the claims process uh, with his insurance company. Once I saw the mold in the wall, I got a little you know, worried because of my grandson that lives here in the home. So when I called them, they responded the same day. In a couple hours, they had a crew out. Um, they assessed the damages. And at that moment, um, he called a roofer and the roofer came out that same day also. It was, it was amazing. At first I was a little worried. I didn't know what to expect. Once they responded so fast and they did everything so quick and they actually explained to me, you know, what I needed to do next steps. Um, I was pretty calm after that. Juan, so at what point after you realized that this was the problem, what do you start removing the drywall? What's the process? Yes, yeah, so the first thing we did after we documented everything, we set up containment. It's very important to set up containment, which we don't have up now, we already took it down. Okay. So once we set up containment, what we did was remove the contaminated areas, the impacted areas that we say. And then uh, throughout the whole process, we have equipment that's running and the equipment is decontaminating the area, kind of you know, making sure that everything is, all, all the contamination is, is, is sanitized and removed. Now where we're at, what's happening next from here? Yeah, so basically right now, he's unfortunately waiting for the insurance company to pay him to do the reconstruction, as we say. Um, so of course, you know, I helped him out with that whole process of how to deal with the insurance company. I believe he got good news that the payment is on the way, so he'll be able to reconstruct his home. And this one is probably one of the fastest ones. I think it's taken maybe two or three weeks, which is oh, wow. uh, relatively fast. Yeah, that's pretty quick. I mean, when you have mold, sometimes it's not always showing on the outside of the wall. In this case, it was starting, but the, what are some things to look for? Yeah, the, the first thing, uh, sometimes you'll notice either staining or a foul odor. So you have to act quick uh, to try to, you know, control the damage. So that's when people are gonna call you, That's right? when they're gonna call <laughs> us, yes. Now, more importantly, how can they contact you? Yes, they can reach us at 786-732-2779, or they can reach us on the web at ace2restore.com. Let's manage your damage. Welcome back to SoFlo Home Project. We're continuing our home tour with Dana Lynn Kay, the most unique bedroom in the second level of this home is the one Dana created for her twin girls. She really wanted to create a glamorous space for her two little princesses. So this room is so beautiful and it has a lot of whimsical touches. 
how did you go about picking one theme for two girls <laughs> to both love it? We wanted both of them to really love their room when you have two people sharing the yes. same space and they're very different. So I got to incorporate both of their favorite colors, pink and purple, and one loves princesses and the other one loves mermaids and the other one loves unicorns, the other one. So we just, we merged it all together it into this so fabulous nicely. space. <laughs> they are your typical seven-year-old girls who love sparkle. And so we really try to pull in everything into this one space and I think we pulled it off pretty well. Absolutely. I love all of the girly and the whimsical touches you added in this room, like this fur bench. Pieces of furniture have to take them from being seven to 17 years old. Absolutely. So I chose a lot of really high quality pieces of furniture that they that would grow with them. So, you know, their beds and pieces like this, as teenagers, they'll still be able to use this. Like they use this, they lay out their clothes here, they sit on this to put on their shoes. It's functional so and it's pretty. It's functional and pretty at the same time. That's actually very cool the way you did put this together. Because yeah. these pieces, that nightstand, I mean, I love that. I would put that in my own room. It, well, but exactly. It works great. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. This mirror, is this another found object or did you purchase this? Yeah, one? this is just, this is a purchase. I thought it was a really great looking mirror. And again, we threw a, a little wood mermaid over there that um, my mom found with a little dream catcher. It works right now for the theme we're going for. And like I said, as they're teens or Change somebody even as an adult can switch it up, take that mirror and it'll work somewhere else. So I love the way that you laid out this room. Plenty of open floor space for playing, but then adding a great day bed on the side. Yeah, absolutely. So seven-year-olds love sleepovers and I have two of them. And so we chose a day bed that has a trundle underneath, it pulls out. And now we have room for four little girls to sleep in this one room. And it's a nice place for them to sit, for them to read. Yeah, I know it works perfectly. And it's also another piece that again, they could grow with. Yes. And then of course, the marquee heart lights yes. are so sweet. And I love the large scale of them. They Really fill the wall. The ceilings in this house are high. You really do need to choose statement pieces. And rather than putting a bunch of little pictures on the walls or trying to fill it up with posters, I wanted something that when you walked in the room, there was that wow factor. Yes. And I'm not one for clutter, but I'm one for like one awesome statement. And those hearts, we did three and we made that shape and we just thought like hearts and lights, it's like perfect. perfect. Next, on SoFlo Home Project, we relax in the elegant zen sanctuary that Dana created for herself. Welcome back to SoFlo Home Project. We're continuing our home tour here in Parkland, and now we are on the Master Terrace, which is right outside the beautiful master bedroom. The spacious master suite has it all, including some of the best views of this property. They are best enjoyed from the private terrace, which is the perfect place to get away from it all. The room and the terrace itself has such a beautiful like Balinese kind of influence. That's exactly what it is. It's Balinese and Balinese style is very relaxing, very zen. It just Absolutely. reminds me of just a spa setting. And so I wanted to bring that into my home. This is a place where I sit and I talk on the phone at night or I just sit and relax with a book. And it just is very calming. It's my special place. I can light some candles out here at night. And it's just a fun place to unwind. And a great place to hang out with beautiful views as well. Oh yeah, I'm all about views. This space, I love all the furniture pieces and I love that how in your master, you seem to also have like a collection of different objects and accessories. Were some of these from travels as well? Yes, I have a really great vintage Louis Vuitton trunk on love the end that. of my bed. My mom got that for me in Argentina. The bedroom is a place where you start your day and you end your day and I feel like you should love the room that you wake up in. So walking into my room at night, I wanted it to be a very peaceful, calm feeling. I like to mix the new, my bed is brand new, but then obviously the trunk is old and it has a story and it has some feeling to it. So I like to mix those. Absolutely, and those are great tips because sometimes when you're moving in, you have so much to buy, so many things. And oh, yeah. You have pieces that maybe they're coming from another place and incorporating them into your Not new style. Not all hand-me-downs are a bad thing. As you can tell, the size of the master bedroom, 
I walked in and I was like, how am I filling this so space? Spacious. <laughs> Even a king size bed, just putting that in there, it almost disappeared. So I needed something that was like the statement piece that when you walked in, it was like, wow. Yes. And that headboard is gigantic. And you couldn't pull it off in a lot of homes. The headboard is really beautiful and, and I think captures that sort of Balinese type of essence. I feel that your home should be your sanctuary. It's you should walk in and just have this great feeling. I spend so much time at home and I feel like it's so important to love your space. You've done such an amazing job really Thank incorporating. You. These pieces are just like a great mix. It's eclectic, but it's also very serene and very South Florida. Yes, very. Dana, we want to thank you so much for allowing us to see this beautiful home that you've done with the curated thank you for pieces. Having me. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure and we hope that the viewers enjoyed it as well. We will see you again right here next week on Local 10 for another episode of SoFlo Home Project. If you missed any part of this makeover or if you're looking for more design inspiration, make sure to check out all episodes online at SoFloHomeProject.com. You could also submit your design disasters and you never know, we could be knocking on your door to help. And don't forget to follow us on social media on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Next week on SoFlo Home Project, we head to the Design District to explore the residence. It is the first luxury living show house in the U.S. created by top local designers.